Hello there, welcome back again to Netcode Up channel. Now, this channel facilitates on the Not lessons and projects. So, you can go to the playlist. We have a lot of Mari app development and also Blazor app development over there. You can take those projects and those lessons and you look at them. So, if you like what I'm going to do today, you can subscribe to this channel or like this channel as well and also comment in case you have any issue too. What you're going to talk about today is using or implementing Lotti animation. Now, you know, when you create your application and you want to have a loading indicator, at times when you use animations, it makes your application user friendly or not so nice to most apps. We have these animations that we can use or we use in loading or displaying or entering a page or any other stuff as well. So let's take a look on how to implement this lotty animations in Mari application. First of all, the first thing that we need to do here is to install a NuGet package. So let's go to our project. We have our project created and let's go to our solution explorer. And now in here, so let me debug it. I have a project created and that is what you can see from here. Well, let me stop debugging. Then right click on dependencies and click on manage NuGet packages. So let's install a component or a package over here. So let's first of all include this uh, pre release. And now here we are going to search for Skiashop. So Skiashop. And this is dot extended dot ui so we have dot ui dot mari so this is the package that we need let's wait for the search to be done so we can install this package so that is it let's click on this and let's install as you can see we have pre-release of 6.1 but that is a 661 and that is 2.00 so let's install this package So let's accept it. So apply and we have to accept. So we wait for this installation to be done. When you go to the output, you can see it is done over here. Okay. So let's close this up. And now what you have to do here is after installation, we have to register this in the mari.program or mariprogram.cs file. So we're going to say use skia. So use Kia Sharp. So control period, let's include the namespace. So namespace, that is the namespace over here. Skiashop.views.mari.controls.hosting. That's the namespace. Let's save that. Now, when whilst we are doing this or when we are done, the next thing that we can do here is to add a namespace. So let's go to main page. Um, dot xml file now in here let's add xml ns and now you're going to say skia and this skia we are going to clr dash namespace and this time round we are going to get skia sharp so we need skia sharp dot extended ui dot controls so let's see dot controls okay so we need this so let's include this dot controls okay so after getting this we can let's clear all this from here now let's use the skia but before we use that we have to get a file or the link we can use either the file or the link so let's first get a file and the file must be in a JSON format and we're going to put it in the raw uh, folder. If it is a link, then we're going to copy the link and we have to make sure our computer or mobile phone is connected to your internet before it can download the file from the link that we are going to provide. So let's go in there and download it ourselves and utilize it over here. So let's go to Lottie files dot com to get this file over there and we are going to search for loading so as you can see get started it is free so 
we have to search for the loading so you want to display load indicator or loading animation so let's wait for the the page to get loaded so we can search for the loading animation so let's do it here so loading now let's make a search so as you can see we have a lot of loading over here so this is our animation so let's grab one click on this if this is what you want to use then let's click on this and let's see so that is a now we can grab the link we can click on this to generate the link for us or this is what we can do we can download it over here so we'll click on this and now we want to get an adjacent file so click on this to download it and now here we want to have an account so let's create an account with uh, this so account is now created and let's see so i want to say i'm a developer so save and continue on and now here let's go for the download so download in that is a json file so as you can see it is it is done and that is a file over here so i'm going to copy the file and i will go to our project where we have our raw folder click on this and now paste the file in here so that is the animation the um, loading uh, animation that we copied okay so let's use this now in order to use this it's very simple we are going to use a scale so we say scale then we're going to use sk lottie view so as you can see that is this one and in here we have to specify a few items or a few attributes here the first one it is the source so the source i'm going here right click on this and i'll go to rename and i'll grab the content or copy the name now let's go back to the content here and let's paste this and it is dot json that is a format aside from that what we can do is we can um, specify maybe a height request or we can maintain as it is and let's see the default one the next one is the repeat count so negative one is it doesn't end it's going to loop continuously so let's save this and now let's run it and see what's going to happen now so our app is now loading and let's see the display when it gets to the mario program or that's the main page dot xml that is the default page that we are now so it is loading let's see if the logic animation is going to work perfectly as you can see from here so um that is this and you know something we can actually add a loading um, indicator bin it we can add a loading indicator bin it and we can also specify the height and the weight as well but for now let's maintain this so if you want to have an animation to your page or to, for your application when in terms you want to load or navigating from one page to another one or processing a request and we can use this loyalty animations and that is what we've gone through how to do it you can get the json file you put in the raw folder and i link it over to your application or get a link and also link it to your application it all works together okay so that is it uh, for this video thank you so much as i said earlier on if you like what i'm doing give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel as well so that as soon as i upload a new video you have the notification and you can watch it as well thank you take care of yourself and i'm going to catch you up in the next video